I'm standing in an alleyway that runs between Mullis Music, finest guitar store in the southeast, and trashed, an artist-type place that takes trash from any just anywhere and makes it into artists and keepsake items for families. Neither of those type businesses would have been here before World War II. And back in that time, wagons came right down this alleyway carrying goods in and out of town. Look here. Look at the scrapings along the wall. The wagon wheels down low. The things hung off the wagons up high like this. Look also, as you follow these scrapings, here this area has been painted. That is my fear, that we're going to lose this part of history and won't know what it is going forward in the future. You can look up on this wall. You can see the pieces of an old sign that used to be here, old electrical hangings. Look up high. Are you a woman drawing people into a ladies' clothing store? This is fascinating because as you look at the old brick, you can see this very soft and irregularly shaped, unlike today's perfectly made bricks made with chemical compounds. This truly is part of history. It's something if you don't know to look for, you just won't see in town. W.S. Bogle, an old attorney who was about 95 years old back in the early 1980s, told me what this was because he remembered watching the wagons coming down this wagon way back many, many years before World War II. We're just not that far separated from a very primitive time where this area was run by horsepower. I love this old town. I love some of its old secrets. I sure hope we can keep them.